Hello everyone, welcome to Michael's Vlog in the Philippines. Uh, I'm making another video for you guys and uh, in this particular case, you know, I just want to say, you know, and I don't think this is going to change for many years unless, you know, as foreigners we get smarter. We share information with, with other foreigners to, to understand the foreigner price issue. Now, when you're buying smaller things, the foreigner price may not be as big of an issue, but it is a cumulative effect over a course of time. So if you're buying a product consistently every month, then it is a cumulative effect of you being overcharged and that will add up with time. But when you're buying something that's more expensive that has a foreigner price, which a foreigner price is a higher price than what uh, a local is paying. When you're buying a large cost item, the impact is immediate. And so the foreigner price in 2019 is still relevant. You still need to be careful uh, and, and be a great analyzer of the price that you're paying for any product or service in the Philippines. So let me talk about, you know, the thing that made me have to really pay attention to the foreigner price in 2019. So we're looking at finding people that would help us to um, either build a new house or renovate uh, an existing house. And uh, one of the big problems that we ran into is the people that we were searching for, they always try to charge me this extreme price, you know, for uh, a, a cost analysis. You know, they, the cost breakdown was just super extremely high. Um, and fortunately, you know, I know a lot of people in the Philippines, some people that are truly my friend, you know, that are locals, that gave me little pieces of information that I was able to put together because I, I met with many different people. Some tried to rip me off and, and, and some, you know, did not. Actually, I would say 99% of them tried to rip me off in this case. There was only 1% that did not, meaning that all, all the people I met only met one person or, or one group of people that did not try to rip me off, you know, um, with their different companies or businesses. And, and I, I happened to have some friends who weren't trying to do business with me, but were in the particular industry that I needed insight and information on. So there was um, one person, we, you know, we're trying to get a, a, a floor plan done and all that stuff. And they were talking like, you know, 200 something thousand pesos, you know, to do the floor plan, the bill of materials and all that stuff. And you know, I remember one guy, he was like, man, well, shoot, you paying almost what you pay in the U.S. for for that stuff. You know, and I was like, yeah, that's what it sounded like to me. And I, But I never had a house, you know, stuff done for a house in the U.S., so I don't really know the exact costing. But he was telling me, he was like, yeah, you starting to approach the territory of, of the American cost. You shouldn't be paying no 200,000 pesos. And so I talked to a friend of mine. He was telling me, you know, hey, man. You shouldn't be paying no more than 1500 pesos per sheet for your floor plan design, you know, and per sheet, you know, for whatever they put in information, they put in the sheet about the measurements and the details. You shouldn't be paying no more than 1500 pesos per sheet. And I was like, really? That, well, that's a massive difference in cost than what this guy was trying to charge us, you know. And so when I found that out, that, that helped me. And you really got to ask around. You got to go. We, I can't tell you how many people, if, if you only went through this experience with me, would you understand me? I, expect, I spoke with so many different people before I got to the truth of the real price that I should be paying to get something as simple as a floor plan done, you know, and, and, and maybe getting the bill of materials and the labor costs. Something as simple as that. I had to go through so many people. I wanted to give up and quit so many times. It, 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 you don't understand the foreigner price until you go through a certain experience. When you're buying a big ticket item, like a house or a car, you will understand my struggle as a foreigner. You know, you're going to get the foreigner price, but you got to learn what the real prices are. And that means you may have to speak to 20 different people before you get to the truth. It's that bad at times. I'm not saying everybody had that has that experience, but for me, I had to speak with so many people before I started to get the true cost of what things should cost. I'll give you an example of a bad situation. There was one guy 
trying to tar charge me 25,000 pesos per square meter just to renovate. But I'm smart. I go online. I start reading. And I'm not saying I'm the smartest person, but I'm smart enough to know how to go read. I went online and started reading. And I found out that you can pay 25,000 pesos per square meter to build a brand new house. And I was like, well, if I'm going to pay that much to renovate, I might as well just build a new house. Because it's saying that your standard for a high-end high house is 25,000 pesos per square meter. And then I started looking into permits because some people were trying to play this game with me. Say, oh, yeah, the permits, the permits is so expensive. That's part of the reason your cost so high. And then I looked that up and I was like, well, permits, it said that permits can cost around maybe 30,000 at most. You know, and I was told that it may even be lesser than that from a friend that I spoke with that's a local. And I was like, well, once I learned that, when new people started talking to me and trying to tell me about the permits, I said, well, the permits only going to cost you like 30,000. Shouldn't cost you more than that. And then they, they couldn't say anything about it after that. So it was like the building permits is no excuse for an extremely high price on the cost of the construction. You know, and some people, they start off with one price and then it would, be, it would go from being 100 percent of the cost that they originally told me to 200 percent of that the next time I speak with them. And it's just like, man, this foreigner price is a thorn in my side. <laughs> it make you just want to rent because it's so much less stressful. Then, and then this is just part of the story. You still got to deal with some other stuff that's outside of the money. It's still it's still going to tie back into the money. But once you actually do find someone, then you got to have someone, including yourself, who can go there and make sure that the place is being built on time, built on schedule, being built properly, that they're not trying to keep you, you know, having a project going for 10 years and they just keep getting paid every single day and the project never finishes. Or if it does finish, it doesn't finish correctly. It's not done properly. But basically what I found out is if you're looking to get a house built brand new and, they, and they're doing a floor plan, bill of materials, labor costs, all that stuff, it should be around 1,500 pesos per sheet, including that stuff. So if they do 10 sheets, you should have 10 sheets times 1,500 pesos. That's what it should be. Now they said... You know, from speaking with some some professionals who are in the industry, what they said is some of those people that are charging this price, they're charging it because, you know, they already established themselves really well. Um, their name is out there, you know, so they're marking their prices up a lot higher. OK, and that's the reason their price is so expensive. OK, so but at the same time, you got to also make sure that the person that you're dealing with is licensed to do the business that they say that they they doing. Because you might be dealing with a situation where the person is not licensed to do it. But, you know, you got you got to pick what you want. You know, do you want to deal with a non-licensed person and get into some situation? Or are you going to deal with a licensed person? You know, that's your personal decision. I can't make that for you. Now, I do believe that a person who has experience is not necessarily a person who doesn't know how to do the job. Because you can build up experience in certain fields and know how to do it up to a certain extent if you were taught by someone who knew what they were doing that's the key component if you were taught by someone who knew what they were doing and they went to school for it and they taught you and you not licensed but you know how to do it you very well may know how to do it but you got to do it the right way especially as a foreigner you want people that are uh, licensed because you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you know you didn't use the unlicensed person and now you don't have no foot to stand on to defend yourself and say, well, I hired them and they, they were licensed. That's what they, they even showed me that they were licensed. If you don't make sure you verify that, then you're going to have some real problems. So, you know, with the foreigner price, you know, you got to do your homework and make sure you're not getting ripped off. Like I found out that, you know, for the for the. Uh, the hollow for the hollow blocks that are machine made that don't crumble when you step on it. Uh, you can get those, I think, for like 18 pesos a piece. You know, knowing little things like that can be really helpful. Um, you know, as a foreigner, going out and pricing your own uh, materials will be important. I think if you're going to have a house built, maybe have someone go with you that's a local to make sure you don't get ripped off on the pricing. Someone that you trust, you know, don't get somebody you don't know if you can trust them. They might take a cut of that money and mark the price up on it, you know, so, um, you know, you want to try to find someone you can trust that you can go out with 
that can know the pricing and say, hey, man, uh, I, you know, I know what the pricing is. I'll go with you. I'll help you with this. Uh, they won't overcharge you. And then you know that the company that's building a place for you is not going to overcharge you because you're going to personally go out and handpick the materials. You're only paying them for the service of, you know, maybe transporting those materials and, uh, you know, and building building the place for you. So uh, those are some of the things that you want to think about when it comes to, to the housing stuff. I mean, honestly, you know, I could see why a lot of foreigners would just go out and just purchase a place that's already pre-built that they can inspect because it's just, it's so much less hassle. I see the value of buying a condo unit is already built. You know, and the price that they show you is the price that they show you. You're not going to have to worry about labor costs, you know, service fees and all that stuff. You just go and buy it and be done with it and you no more problems. You know, it's just such an easier method. Or buying a house that's already built that you can have inspected is much easier than having one built, you know, or having one renovated. It's just so much more easier than that, you know, having to deal with that. But, yeah, man. I can tell you it's not a fun experience, you know, having to have all these meetings with different people and, you know, people trying to charge me percentages. Like my story is deep. Like there was one guy, he was trying to charge me a percentage fee on an unknown cost of building the house. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to charge you like 10 percent or something crazy like that. You know, I think it was 10 percent. I'll charge you 10 percent of whatever the cost of the house is. So. You know, if, if the house costs X amount of pesos, he's going to charge me 10% of an unknown cost. I don't even know what I'm paying you. And so it was this little things like that that, you know, was a red flag. And I was like, well, no, nah, I can't be doing that. You need to give me an exact cost of what it is to hire you. So it's just, you know, as a foreigner, one thing you must always know is that you are unfortunately looked at as a cash cow you know and i'm not saying that's every filipino that's going to do that to you there's some honest filipinos because if it wasn't no honest filipinos i would have never got to the true answers of what some of these costs should be but just know that the majority of people that you deal with in business and this ain't even got nothing to do just with you they might even try this with some of the locals if they think they can get away with it you know, unfortunately, in the business world, you know, at least here, you know, from my experience is that if someone thinks that they can overcharge you, they will. Even 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 with us, you know, having a transition from our other place to where we are now, we didn't have much leverage because of the, the, the time frame in which we needed to make things happen. So, you know, we got a, a higher price than what I think we should have, uh, in my opinion, just from past experience of being uh familiar with this particular place that we stay at but if there's an opportunity for someone to overprice you overcharge you just know what's gonna happen especially as a foreigner get ready for it to happen man and um you know it's just an interesting experience like it's a different life you know in a, in america people might try to overcharge you but in america it, you know in most cases you can figure that stuff out so easy you don't have to wait till you talk to someone that understands, you know, the market. In America, it's pretty much, you know, you can always find it on the Internet mostly. You ain't really got to depend on people to um, enlighten you about, you know, certain things uh, within the country. So, um, but let me let me go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you got some insight into this whole you know, getting the house built stuff and hopefully you're a little bit smarter now. You know some things about the cost of what it should take to do certain things. And, uh, you know, hopefully you're more equipped to, um, you know, have a much more uh, reliable process for getting a house built if you're planning to get one built here. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to embed, comment, share and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos on Michael's blog.